Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we are about to enter the world of Pokemon's Legends Arceus. Are you guys ready for this? Because I am. Let's do this. I have not opened the game yet. I'm about to see which I'm going to see for the first time right now. Hey, what's up, Dark Bug Art? How's it going, man? Again, thank you for the uh, profile picture. I still haven't uploaded it to Twitch yet, but I will be doing that soon. Oh, I'm excited. Let's, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to pick English, of course. Whatever you, whenever you sing, now saving on the screen, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am which humans call Arceus. <clears throat> Shit, guys. God is talking to us. Uh, Y'all can't hear the music? All right, let me turn it up a little bit. Sound better? Now I wish to know thine appearance. Uh, let's go with the medium skin tone. What is thy name? <laughs> Ameth Joe. <clears throat> That's me. Joe. Soon thou shalt find thyself in the world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Dang, this was before uh, Professor Oak. God told you welcome to Pokemon. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, so God told us to go on an adventure. And, when, and what God says goes. Oh, I hate that feeling when you're asleep. Get it, Joe, get it. <clears throat> Stay away from the light. Oh, <laughs> he had one job. Oh, snap. We got the whole world in our hands. Animations is sick so far. What's up, Sailor Stitch? Pokemon's Legends Arceus. Hey. <clears throat> no CL, thanks for the follow. Nah, no sleep. This is This is what we're here for. We, we are going to stream as long as we can. Wake up! Grab a bunch of little makeup. Oh, do wake up, don't, won't you? I'm not going to give no one names. Oh, dude. Are you alive, my boy? Oh, who the heck is this? Hey, as long as he gives me that starter, I am okay. I'm going to go to sleep for work tomorrow. Hey, that's on that's on you, Sailor Stitch. Hey, no, CL knows what I'm talking about. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Yeah, that's the first question. I said I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Come now. Who in the world does that? I'm the chosen one, clearly. I better pick Ashua. Well, you might want to go to sleep before I pick my starter then, because I'm not going with that one. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to be have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? 
I don't know. Hey, call in. What? It's only one day. I see. You seem in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some direction? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. Oh, Cynical's definitely going to be my starter. I mean, what? So, you don't have anyone here, and you don't even know where you're where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. Look how I'm a child. Look the way I'm dressed. <clears throat> I fell out of the freaking sky, man. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Ooh. Flish flop. Flish flash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three running away Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. That is adult agent Pokemon, you're right. I am not picking the bird. That's the one thing I'm not doing. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but you don't even know what a Pokemon is? How is this kid this old? I'm just going to say, of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? What, you fell from the sky too? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and with what might your name be? It's Joe. Oh, so you're called Joe. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have, have some lovely meaning. Nope, just the average Joe here. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is L Laventon. I'm just going to go with Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here with... Oh my god, they're running away. Hey, Robson, please don't share no links in the chat, please. That is uh, a no-go here. I don't trust him. His coat looks like Team Galactic. Yeah, that's the that's the creepy part about this dude. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Get on, get. Uh, going. Oh, we can't go in the house. Whoa, this is an interesting feel. Whoa, I thought that was a ledge that I couldn't jump up. Oh, look at that animation. That's sick. <clears throat> hey, look, my phone. I get great cell service out here. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Ooh, I'm crouched. No, I'm not. You used to call me on my Arceus phone. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Arc phone, and thy missing, and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. That's where the phrase started. Back here with Arceus, telling this kid, catch all the freaking Pokemon. Oh, wow, you could run on the rocks? This game's already much better than any Pokemon game I've ever played. Oh, these are the ledges you can't go up. See, now this is a ledge. Not that crappy stuff you see in Pokemon games normally. That's a freaking ledge right there. I'm sure you could jump down it, too. Sigh. Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. It's Joe. 
I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. <laughs> Watch the med fall damage. All good, Eddie, man. You have a good night. <coughs> I'd love to give it a... i love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit more about these three. That one's Rowlet. Okay, I'm not going to stay in character for this one. Rowlet can uh, photosynthesize like a plant and apparently in battle using the sharp feathers. What about his beak? <laughs> it's sent a quill. That one over there is sent a quill. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's su surprised or irate. I feel like he's hitting on me. He wants to give me a go. Boom! Oshawott. Oh, it look, it's so cute. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell on object on its belly. Splash! Splash! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. You gotta battle them first. Uh, here you go, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon, try to catch them. Oh, I got 50 Pokeballs. Oh, this dude gave me a, a bunch of balls. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Uh, upon close enough to drown the fake water start. <laughs> Yeah, right? If you can't breathe underwater, it's not a real water starter. Now that I've mentioned already, the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, look at them. Uh, and that's where the Pokeball comes in. Pokeballs are a recent invention. You see, throw one of them at a Pokemon and voila. Oh, dude, that means if they make a game before this game, it'd be like a... Uh, <clears throat> It'd be like a Legends of Zelda style or Pokemon Legends Arceus style Pokemon Conquest. There's no Pokeballs. You just link. That would be cool. Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I'm sure that's not how it works, but okay. <clears throat> I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you'd catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to aim, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're over-explaining things too much. <clears throat> okay, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a ball and take aim. Okay, use the right stick to adjust your angle. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm yeeting this thing. Come here. Oh! First try. Oh boy. Oh wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you quite the knack for the this Pokemon catching business, Joe. Jolly useful skills to have around here. Only two of my darlings run away left now. Still, this is the most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Okay. Oh, so we gotta catch all of them. All right, I, good, good thing, cause I, I had to catch uh, Cyndaquil first, cause that's the starter I wanted. Hi. Oh, yeet! Right in your face. Cyndaquil needs the fire on his back to dry up the overflowing drip. <laughs> I can hardly believe it, Joe. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo! <clears throat> okay, last one. There's a stupid bird. I'm sorry if I'm clearing my, my throat a lot, guys. I just finished eating. So. Thanks to my allergies. That's how, that's how it be. Oh, he broke out! Ah, oh, yes. I'm afraid that can happen. Uh, Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Fuck you. Stay in the ball. I'm gonna go clamp that ball shut. <clears throat> I'm gonna make it to where it just can't come out at all. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, these three Pokemon you've got 
have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. But Centricle's mixtape is so weak, he has to use his flames to match. I mean, oh wait, bleh, I read that wrong. Sorry, Nasil. Um, But Centricle's mixtape is so weak, he has to use his flames too much there. Ah, damn, that, that mixtape ain't fire, I guess. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village and blah, 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 and you came falling out the sky. But I must say, Joe, I was taken aback by how well you can use my balls. Uh, how is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you just only just arrived? Because I'm a Pokemon master from where I'm from. You can't help but think there's a reason you're here now, are you? Or God sent me here. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? I think you're fucking crazy. Let's put him in the psych ward. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. To compile this region's first complete records of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Oh yeah, real original. Just wait till he becomes Typhlosion. Ah, uh -huh. nice, nice play on words. I like that. Uh, yes, proper region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub. I'm afraid Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon and stuffing them in balls. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. And you see where we're coming to an agreement here without you coming to an agreement? Then, however, then whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. <clears throat> first things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village, then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and all that. Follow me, then onward to Jubilife Village. It's not Jubilife City yet. On our way to Jubilife City. Oh my god. It's an ultra wormhole. I mean, technically. I mean, it looks like one. What if UBs just start flying out of that thing? Like, midway through the game. Doubt it, but, you know, that'd be fucking cool. This game is beautiful. I love the landscape of it so far. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was... Of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Now we don't we don't take kindly to outsiders here. <laughs> All right, uh, that was too far, huh? <clears throat> Whoa, dude! Look at that. I love the music right now. It's very welcoming to this game. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of Team Galactic. This road we're on now is known as the locals' Central Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There ain't much yet to do. And since we know little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set a foot outside the village. Now, that impressive building up ahead is called Galaxy Hall Headquarters. Can you not talk so fast, Professor? I can't read that fast. I'm a slow reader. Oh, botheration. Oh, god dang. That's the closest you can get to a bad word in Pokemon. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. May I, might I ask you wait for me at the canteen? Oh, we've got to get drunk. It's just past the bridge there. Here to, to the left, the wallflower is called... Time to get drunk in Pokemon. Your art phone is beeping. God is calling you. Literally. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Jeez, God, you figured everything out. 
It is his will. Uh, let's let you know what? Let's check things out real quick. I don't want to. I don't want to just rush through this beautiful city, or town, or village, or anything like that. Marie, I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching the Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill all the pastures if you know what I mean. With Pokemon, of course. No. Did the internet stop working? It stopped working for me. <clears throat> We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. Oh, and I'm just giving everyone the same voice. To catch one of those Pokemon creatures, you need to throw a Pokeball at it. I know. I just did. Sorry, guys, if the stream is pretty unstable right now. I don't know why my internet's being crappy lately. Okay, so everyone's just saying the same thing. Everything looks so nice. <clears throat> Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, I refreshed my thing. Everything should look good. Should look good. We should be back to normal. I just showed up to the, the thing now. So, here we go. Back from the start. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Oh, this man has a green mustache. The wallflower is for Galaxy Team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. But I was told to wait here. Ah, uh, awesome, Nacelle. Glad you can be back to watching. I don't know what happened. For some reason lately, my internet's been crappy. Yeah, right? Don't let outsiders in this thing. Is it because I'm brown skinned? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you before. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard lets you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. I, that I do, sweetheart. That I do. Perhaps you've met Professor Lav Lavington. He's a scholar from far away place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times. Though, it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon called Thundershock. Oh, Pokemon Move. <laughs> what kind of Pokemon is that? And had to take to bed. Uh, I guess she got... She got fucked up! Uh, but the professor, well, I wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akiri says. I am a clumsy sort of fellow, to put in put it mildly. Oh, dang, he heard all of that. Fully paralyzed is right. She shouldn't be walking. Where's her wheelchair? Um, But yeah, Professor heard all that shit talking she was saying. <clears throat> now he's going to throw her into the guard chomp pit. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Joe here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. All right, give me one second, guys. Sorry. There we go. And again, the stream seems to be lagging. Sorry about that. Uh, excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is, I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Saline. Silene? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, Akiri's been kind of an asshole since it started. <laughs> At least I didn't get hit by a Pokemon's Thundershock. Uh, here we go. Professor Levinson, 
has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped in his, slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. <clears> hmm, <throat> you look to be 15 or so. I'm a little older than that, but you know, whatever. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Uh, I'm from the Kanto region. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distractions. Among Us bra ba ra 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 sussy? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> hey, a Pokemon game where you're actually a teenager. Um, I think uh, Black and White, uh, the main characters in that game were 14. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato moshi, if you please. But make it 4-3 today. I don't want potato mochi. What? I don't even know what that is. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Professor Le Laventon. I'm never going to get that name right. <clears throat> Where exactly did you meet our visitor? Our colored visitor at here. Uh, I don't think it ever actually says you're 14 in black and white, but the, the what do you call it? The book you get for the game uh, it, it tells you their age. The the guide. There you go. Black and white Pokemon guide. The one people call the space time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. Ooh, space time rift. I'm telling you, it sounds like Ultra Beast. You can't be serious. Hey, what is your fucking problem, lady? Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomenon. I concern myself with only facts. I don't see color. Now, you already know <clears throat> there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in the forest, by the water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corp is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. They're Pokemon, dummy. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. And this is a lot of talking for a Pokemon game. Um... <clears throat> but that's where Joe come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them, in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three, we have hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is to get close to them with your Pokeball and throw it and make sure they don't kill you. Hilda built different. <laughs> I'm sure you have some art of that, don't you? Does the Survey Corps really need the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with an outsider? Dude, you are racist, aren't you? With your green mustache. You got a piece of lettuce on your face. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of the potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. Dang, that lady eating ten bowls? I'm sure we'll start to rein in good captain stress eating soon enough. Now you have your fill, Joe. And think if you make it into the Galax Galaxy team, you never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members needs even if said members fell out of the sky. I joined a cult. That should be the. <clears throat> that should be the uh, name, the title of my first episode. Pokemon Arceus, Legends Arceus. I joined a cult. 
that was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. I don't care. Let's get to the Pokemon. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Joe has a trial to pass. To join the Survey Corp, don't you? Not to worry. I have completely, I have complete confidence in Joe's skills. Where do I keep all my 50 Pokeballs? I don't have a backpack. Let's hope I'm not misplaced. misplaced. Joe, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. I'm not going to sleep. I'm catching Pokemon. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. <laughs> Pokemon getting dark up in here. Look at my face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Captain Sailing's somewhat like Kasui in that you're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply put on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. <clears throat> for real, no, so they, they're, they're meeting our standards right now. They got a bar. They're threatening death on the character. We are we going all in this adventure. Yes, good night. Oh, that looks that just looks so cool. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. <clears throat> okay. Head to Survey Corp's quarters. You have been assigned. Let's get it. Let's actually explore real quick. I'm guessing this is the Mart. The Galaxy team is made up of several corps. Let's see. There's the Security, Construction, and Agricultural Corps. And a few others besides. Okay. That's interesting to note. Are you looking for someone? Yo, mama. Okay, I have yet to see... Oh, is this a ladder? Can I climb the ladder? Can I climb the ladder of success? Nope. Well, Pokemon, you have failed me. Oh, is this... What is this? Shrine Guardians watch over us. Oh, look, it's the Arce Arceus thing. I'm here to give thanks to the Guardian of this shrine who watches over all Jubilee Village. She's praising God. Oh, look at this. Training grounds. Oh, if you look in the top left corner, it'll tell you where you're at. Is there any items? Oh, towels. Okay. Can we go in here? Nope. All right. Pokemon, you have failed me yet again. I want to explore. I think it's because I'm playing on the computer. Seems a little glitchy. Oh, great. My stream sucks. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. My stream keeps crapping out. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Things seem to be working. <clears throat> Unfamiliar land. Ooh, investigate. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Oh, we barbecuing inside? Nice. Wouldn't that kill you, though? All the smoke. <clears throat> Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to help screen. 
Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent. Record keeping will save you. Haha, <laughs> save you from such a fate. Again, guys, uh, I see y'all are able to view again. Really sorry about the buffering and all the stuff. My internet's just not dealing with it today. Really all this week. <clears throat> but now we know we can save our journey. I don't know. Rest until the morning? You damn right. I'm sleepy. You don't think it's barbecuing so much as roasting? Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Oh, look at this. If you can. Ultra Beast? Thunderstruck! Yeah, 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 Thunderstruck, that tree. The next day. Good morning, Joe. Are you up? Uh, quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so let's give it your all. It's a, it's a jug used for drinking water. It has a lid to keep debris from falling in. <clears throat> this chest looks like you can store lots and lots of items in it. It'd be nice if I could actually do those things. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you've had a nice sleep, even if it lands, even if it's, ugh, even if this land is strange and new to you. I slept like a baby. Let's go to the headquarters. Captain Siling is waiting. All right, white girl, let's go. We've no food for freeloaders. Okay, well, she's just an ass. You can throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon to make them drop their defenses. Then they'll be easier to catch. Oh, snap. Now who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. These people out here fighting Pokemon. Oh, look at that loading screen. Oh, they fancy fancy. The Survey Corps offices offices are here in the first floor. Don't give up. Keep your eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they were everywhere attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happened when you go so far afield, but a medical corp will put you to rights. That man with the security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from a wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. That means difficult, just like my stream is being right now. Uh, Captain Silene, Joe is here. Man, that's a big-ass desk. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team... Prove yourself capable of by going out into the obsidian field lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the galaxy team's ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Oh, she's calling Professor Laventon a liar. 
The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Oh, she has an Abra. Oh, she a psychic. She a psychic trainer. I'll lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever materials you may need in the field. And I'm getting real tired of this stream. The satchel doesn't exactly match your mode of dress. It's not fashionable. Akari, I expect you to step in if anything goes away. Awry. Array, array. A woo! Mission! The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the task you have waiting. There are two types of missions, and there are two types missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Hot and Joe, come with me a moment. <gasps> this is where we get our starters. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor? Oh, is something the matter, Professor Le Lavinson? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simple, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Joe absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I just, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Yes. It is time to duel. Oh, stream! Come on, man. The internet. Boom! Splash, splash. I was taking a bath. Oh, great. No. No, my. I don't know what happened to my stream. Hopefully, you guys can still see this. Um, go on, Joe. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight. Off wild Pokemon outside the village. These darlings are very dear to me. Oh, my internet went out. Fucking great. Well, those of you watching on YouTube can still see what's going on. Um, and this is what happened. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? And you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I don't think you know what time it is. It is time to get Cyndaquil on the team. Yes. 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 <laughs> Imagine Cyndaquil rejects you. Doesn't want to be on your team. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me. Prelude. Quaalude. Oh, I'm getting a little, a little dicey there. All right, hold on. Let me. <clears throat> oh, my internet's being shitty. Anyway, and with that, we're little, uh, these Pokemon are yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked since we're back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Thank you, Professor. You received Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to the to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cuckoo! Flash. They look as if they're cheering on your friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Eh, who cares? That could be well. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when you fell out of the sky after all. Well not to worry, you two. I'll have you and assist you'll have you assist me with my research from now on. By the way, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those specific can be found in Obsidian Forge. Frostlands. Something. I didn't, I didn't catch what you said. Uh, let me give you some Pokeballs to go on your trial, then. Another 50 Pokeballs? Oh, 20. 
These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. And you have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you hit exit. Head after you hit exit headquarters, then head for the gate. What? Oh, okay. Now I know what you mean. I think. Okay. So now. Okay. So that's how bottom right corner X switches from Pokeballs to active Pokemon. Okay, cool. And then... Why doesn't do anything? Okay. Uh, mission. Oh, there we go. That's where we do it. Okay, cool. Jesus Christ. I don't I don't know what's going on with my internet. I'm just tired of it. Okay. So, uh, we, we've already... Uh, what do you call? We've already accepted the task, is what I'm trying to say. Hi, children. This region is huge, and there's a lot of dangerous Pokemon, too, but you came here anyway. How come? I didn't choose. I fell out of the sky, didn't you hear? Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's got, who's going to inherit the family farm and all, but I'm going to make my own way here in Hisui. Yeah, well, you have fun with that. Looks like we're going to meet somebody new. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can hardly tell you, you're quite the character. The main character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of the mer mercantile needs here in Hisuian. In Hisui, sorry. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tell I'd like to hear. Oh, you, and you've a Pokemon? You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Let's fucking go. Now you're speaking my language. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're attempting to. You're, you're trying to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Oh, it ain't gonna reach zero, buddy. Ginkgo Gill member, Volo, challenge you to a battle. Volo sits out Togepi. Go, Cinchiquil! Yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Alright, so our health bar is in the bottom left corner. Ooh, critical hit, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we get to hit again. Oh, we didn't get to hit. Oh, we de we demoralized that Togepi to death. Battle decided. Moves, items. Use them well, and the world will open up to you. Why is my internet not working? It shows connected. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change your Pokemon's moves, you can use in battle. Open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more of you knew how to use a Pokeball, you fucking inbreds. At any rate, 
Let me help your two bad loos recover. Our two bad loos recover from their little exercise. Oh, he healed us. How nice. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Oh, we battled the merchant. Got some potions. 60 HP. Oh, man. That's a, that's a game changer right there. What happened to potions? They got so diluted now, they only heal 4 or 20 or something like that. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I hope, I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members mean more customers for yours truly, after all. He just wants the money. He don't give a fuck about us. Alright. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you could lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Phil Lands. Yes! When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Oh, interesting. So that's how they do it. Your trial begins just a short way past the front gate. Your Jill, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will be taking place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. <laughs> Going to the Obsidian Field Lands. And... For those of you on YouTube, this is going to be... Oh, wait. Let me finish this up first. After this, um, once we get to a pause, I'm going to take a quick break. And for y'all, it might be a while to the next episode. But uh, for the people who are trying to watch me stream, if y'all can still see me, I'm going to reset my internet and hopefully not deal with this shit anymore. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, oh, well, you see, Captain Siling got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our aspiring, unsparing captain. But what will, what help exactly do you offer out here, Professor? God damn! To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Joe's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Uh, so, respon so the responsibility fall him still lies, in fact, with me, then. I guess so. If I could read, that would have been a much clearer sentence. Well, I'm sure Joe will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Let's do this. Are you sure you know where you're going? Nope. Well, I can't go that way. Some ledges you just can't climb. <gasps> we need to climb this one. No, Brad, I don't know where I'm going. I'm new to this game. I'm exploring. Oh, I should have paused. I was so excited. This is Aspiration Hill. Wow, what a name. The species of Pokemon you meant to catch all live here. The beauty. Obsidian field lands with that Zelda music. And along comes the Bidoof. Time to get ready. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Finally, a woman who knows her place. Just kidding. <laughs> Hold down the LZ button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in sight as long as it's nearby. The, this technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokemons at a target or when dodging Pokemon attacks. Badoof has the metal disposition. disposition. That means it tends to not run from people, so this will be easy. And you will see me catch this Pokemon next time on YouTube.
And those of you on Twitch, if y'all could still see me, uh, I'll be right back. 